Should I get a nose job? What? You have no idea what you're doing. It's a big old waste of time, yeah. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Christelle Rasmussen, and I'm wealthy. And I'm the old lady from Titanic, Candy Warhol. And today, we're answering your questions about self-image. <laughs> Please welcome my wicked stepmother, Miss Jordan Gray. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm all right. This is colourful, isn't it? We hear you've got a question about yourself, so yeah, fire away. OK, my question to you, I would quite like to be 10% more fabulous, but that's the limit. No more than that, or I'm leaving. 10%? That's both specific and exactly what I got in my divorce from Donald Trump. Right, cos I'm, I'm a comedian, right? Yeah. This is, uh, should be clear from my attire, I'm at least a clown of some sort. <laughs> but also, I'm transgender, okay. and... On camera and on stage, I'd like to be dressed up. I'd like to look quite pretty in that. Yeah. But if I go too far, then it falls into the realm of, of drag, which mm. wouldn't be a problem, but it confuses people. To me, it's absolutely baffling that people would, you know, equate you with a drag queen. Well, I think the difference between drag and trans is that drag is a performance. Mm. Trans is not a performance. The performance element ended when I became a woman. I don't have to pretend to be a man anymore. That's the performance. And I'm a tomboy now, which feels like a bit of a waste of time. I've yeah. gone all this effort, but I'm a proper tomboy. Jordan raises an interesting point, and I couldn't help but think, I look great today. What does fabulous mean in this context? To me, fabulous isn't male or female. It's it's dreamlike and it's 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 this feeling of kind of like larger than life. I would love to amp it up. That's the there I think that's go. the thing. Let's just stop mucking about and play dress Let's up, right? Let's do stop it. being grown up. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand behind you, just do this. What is it? Is it a cape? Do you want me to stand in front? Yes, please. This is mad. This whole thing is mad. I actually love this on you. I think this is pretty fabulous. Oh the <laughs> Probably for the best. <gasps> Yes. Oh my God, Candy, I think we've done it again. We've done it. I guess you want to ask what you've learned specifically today about style and fashion and, and being, being more fabulous. I reckon what I've learned from the two of you, admittedly very lovely people. Thank you. That you've no idea what you're doing. I'm getting strange hints that Jordan doesn't like this. You don't feel 10% more fabulous, so you've really fucked this one, Candy. <laughs> um, I don't even know what it looked like, but I know it's shit. I think what we've worked out really is that, you know, you were already fabulous and you didn't really need need all this, you know. Great timing on that one, yeah. yeah. So you've just yeah. figured that out. You've mm. just figured out just that you didn't need to do it. It was a big old waste of time, yeah. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't need us. Jordan was fabulous all along. We'd love to welcome my son's girlfriend, Kaylee O'Brien. Yay, Kaylee. Hi, my darling. Hi. We hear that you have a question about self-image. I do. Should I or should I not get a nose job? A nose job? I mean, really, look at it. Honey, I think it's no, a beautiful yeah. nose. I can't believe this girl wants a nose job and Candy doesn't. I okay. say this to everybody. Surgery is, I mean, it's not for everyone. There's nothing wrong with it. But I always think that you have to know exactly yeah. what you're getting done before you do it. There was a time when Candy really, really wanted, you know, her kneecaps reshaped to look like the face of Jennifer Aniston. And they ended up looking like Courtney Cox. Mm. And, you know, you never show them now. You haven't recovered. So that's what happens when something goes a little wrong. Gasp! I have an idea. I think what we could do is maybe show you what it might look like on the other end. Can we get our makeup artist, Branca, in? I want you to give her an extreme nose contour. Really go for it. Whew, that was a bit on the nose. And I want you to have a look. And honestly, this is what you're going to look like after surgery. Are you happy with this? <gasps> I kind of like it. Oh my God. <laughs> Wrong response. What? Okay. <laughs> you like it? OK, so you know what? Let me call my doctor. We'll book you a surgery. To be honest, there's no right or there's no wrong response. At the end of the day, this is your choice. We can't tell you what to do. We can just give you advice. I think you have a beautiful nose, a beautiful face. Yeah, really. Thank you. You know? So what have we learned about self-image today, Crystal? I don't know, Candy, but Fontaine Collette from Jackie Collins' novel, The Bitch, is here to show us. Honey, you're gorgeous inside and out. But mainly inside is what I'm talking about Your spleen is sexy AF Lungs got me gasping for breath Your small intestines perfect Your cervical vertebrae, yes Wow Beautiful on the inside Your lungs, your liver, kidney And your sexy bile ducts, babe Your organs keep me so satisfied Are you struggling? Have you lost your way? Where the dragon ants gonna save the day? I'm a rich white woman. <laughs>